This is part 42 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to force reload a Blazor component. When a Blazor component is used for multiple workflows, this feature allows us to refresh the component so the user can see the elements that are changed dynamically. Let's understand this with an example. In our project, we're using this edit employee component for multiple workflows, that is both for creating as well as editing existing employees. And at the moment, within this component, we have the page header text hard-coded to edit employee. So this means either when we use this component to create a new employee, notice the text is edit employee. And similarly, even when we try to edit an existing employee details, the header text is still edit employee. We want to change this dynamically depending on for which workflow we're using the component. So instead of hard coding the text like this within our component class, let's create a property. The data type is string and let's call the property page header text. Next, in the component lifecycle method on initialized async, if employee ID is not equal to zero, then we know we are using this component for editing existing employee data. So let's set the page header text to edit employee, else create employee. And then in the view, instead of hard coding the text, let's use this page header text property. Notice now when we use the component for creating a new employee, the header text is create employee. On the other hand, when we use it to edit an existing employee data, the header text changes as expected. Now, one important point to keep in mind is when we navigate from this edit employee component to a completely different component and then come back to this edit employee component, only then the page header text changes as expected. Let me explain what I mean. At the moment, we're using this edit employee component to edit existing employee data. So the page header text is edit employee. Now, before using this component again for creating a new employee, I'm going to navigate to a completely different component, in this case, employee list component. And then I click on this create navigation menu. So we come back to the edit employee component, but we are using it for creating a new employee and we see the page header text changed as expected. But if we navigate from this component to the same component, but for a different work flow, then the page header text doesn't change as expected. Let me explain what I mean. Let's click edit on one of the employees. So we're using this component to edit employee data. So the page header text is edit employee. Now I'm going to navigate to the same edit employee component, but for a different workflow, this time for creating a new employee. Notice what happens when I click on this create menu item. Only the employee ID route parameter in the URL has disappeared. Nothing else on this page has changed. We still see the same text edit employee and we also see existing employee data still on this form. This is happening because when we navigate from edit employee component to the same component again by clicking on this create nav link element, the redirection happens on the client. The request is not sent to the server. So to fix this, we have to force this edit employee component to be loaded from the server again. So let's open navmenu.reza because this is the file that contains our navigation menu. And here is the create navlink element. And when we click this navlink element, we want to execute some code. So let's attach on click event handler. And let's name the event handler method handle click. Our obvious next step is to create this method. Let's do that in the code block right here. When this method is called, we want to programmatically redirect the request to the same edit employee component. And while we do that, we want to tell Blazor to force load this edit employee component from the server. For that, we need navigation manager service. So let's inject it into this component. On this navigation manager service, we have navigate to method. And the first parameter to this method is the component that we want to navigate to. In our case, it is edit employee. As you can see from the IntelliSense, the second parameter to this method is a Boolean force load parameter. The default value is false. We want to set this to true. This will bypass client-side routing and forces the browser to load the component from the server. At the moment, we are using this edit employee component to edit existing employee data. Now let's navigate to this same edit employee component by clicking on this create navlink element. Notice 
Everything has changed. In the URL, the employee ID route parameter disappeared. The page had a text change to create employee and we have a blank form to create a new employee. So, the bottom line is, when we use a single component for multiple workflows, sometimes we may have to tell Blazor to force load the component from the server by bypassing client-side routing. For that, all we need to do is set the boolean force load parameter of the navigate to method to true. Now, in our navigation menu component, let's include another menu item, edit. When we click this, as you can see, we are redirecting the user to edit employee component to edit existing employee data whose ID is 1. Notice when we click edit, the selected menu style is applied to both the menu items, create and edit. We want the selected menu style to be applied to this create menu item only when we use this edit employee component to create a new employee. That is when we don't have employee ID in the URL. For that, include match component and set it to a value of navlink match dot all. With this option, the selected style is applied only when the entire URL matches. We can also set it to a value of just prefix. With this option, selected style is applied when any URL prefix matches. In the interest of time, I've already included match on both the navlink elements and set it to a value of navlink match dot all. So with this, when we click edit, only edit is selected. Similarly, when we click create, only create is selected. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening. Thank you.